Okay, I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on how to spot fake Levi's jeans. I've got six pairs of Levi's here. They're all bought from the Levi's outlet, so I know they're genuine. Um, we'll start off with the Levi's tab on the back right hand side pocket. Um, the Levi's tab should always be in the same position, um, around about an inch, uh, inch and a quarter down from the top. The stitching here should always be very uniform and in keeping with the rest of the stitching. What you'll find often with the fakes is that they manufacture the jeans and then they put the label in afterwards. Um, so what happens is the they unpick the stitching and they stitch back over the top. Um, look out for things like a different coloured stitching or even if it just doesn't look quite right it's not straight or it's uh, there's too big a gaps between the stitches. Um, these this pair here has Levi's and a small registered marking on. Um, one obvious thing that I've seen with fakes is that they can just have Levi without the S on. Um, that's a definite indicator that it's a pair of fake Levi's. This pair here just has a registered mark on. That's because one out of every hundred pairs that is manufactured. Um, they have to change the ribbon over on the machine and they run through um, a label without uh, putting the, the Levi stitching on. So that that's fine uh, if it's just got an R on. Um, moving on to the label, you should always find that the the model and the width and leg, uh, waist and leg measurements are always in black text. Um, that's because they print those on afterwards, they make the label up first, put them on the jeans, stitch stitch around and then they print the um, the style and the sizes on. Um, one other thing to look out for uh, is on the 501s the quality clothing XX should be curved downwards like this in a in a sort of upside down arch. Um, you'll find with the newer styles they're a lot more uniform. Um, it's not a definite indicator uh, generally because there's that many different styles it's difficult to remember where which which jeans should have which style so I'd maybe leave the back of that just just look at the the color of the uh, printed text um, one other thing actually with the the label is the color of the uh, the brown color of the label itself um, if it's very dark in color that's a pretty good indicator that it's a fake uh, also if it's white in colour it's generally uh, not a genuine pair um, these sort of four pairs of denim jeans that I've got here are all in different um, states of repair if you like these are, are being worn twice I think um, so this, this label is pretty neat um, you can see the 501s which I've worn uh, for about five years the, the, the edging sort of very um, worn on it, uh, but the the colours pretty much the same. It's faded ever so slightly, and the same with these five one twos here. The logo itself fades, but the colour of the label stays a nice um, sort of tan brown colour. You'll find with the fake labels they'll fade very quickly. Um, so moving on to the rivets on the jeans, um, you can see this pair here has a nice clear stamp on it LS and Co SF which is Levi Strauss and Co San Francisco um, 501 should always have copper rivets on if they've got uh, silver silvery sort of stainless steel rivets on then that might be an indicator that they're fake the 514 jeans do have the uh, stainless steel ones as you can see here Moving on to the button style, you can see that it's got a very clear cut, very nice um, Levi Strauss and Co. SF Cal, which is San Francisco, California. Um, this, what you should look out for with the fakes is um, if they look like they're coated in something, or uh, if they look as though around the edge of the text. Um, 
the sort of small blobs or manu in fact manufacturing errors the Levi buttons the genuine ones will be very nice like this one um, if you look on the back of the button there should be uh, a number stamped on it this particular pair the numbers almost worn off so I'm going to show you another pair um, where it's easier to see um, okay this one here you can just about see if I focus properly um, it's got a number on it 4523 so if we have a look on the inside of the jeans on the label there should be a four digit number on the on one of the labels and you can see there 4523 it matches what we've got on the button uh, this is the factory um, stamp that they put on it and it's very important that these numbers match you can see on this zipper here that it's got the Levi's trademark printed on it sometimes it will say Talon T-A-L-O-N which is also fine um, moving on to the inside of the jeans on the rivets again it should also say LS and Co SF and that should be on all of the rivets on the jeans there should never be a rivet without that printed on.